welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and yes, I am kind of losing my voice today. Just allergies, nothing major. But um, today I have part two of all of the products that I'm panning currently. This is what I am doing with Paula and Amanda. Um, we did makeup a few days ago and now we are doing our beauty products. So anything that is beauty related and um, not makeup. And before anyone asks, yes, I did get my hair chopped. I got about four-ish inches cut off of it. I've got some layers now, so it's uh, it's getting a little fuller. It's lighter, it's easier to deal with, and I'm happy that I got a cut. So, let's get into this. It's not nearly as much as I have done in previous years, and it's not anywhere close to the amount of stuff that I have um you know as far as makeup because my makeup video was long it was way too long and um while i'm while i'm chatting i'm gonna put some hand lotion on because my hands are incredibly dry um yeah i i don't know why i mean i kind of know why i didn't put as much beauty stuff in this year i really wanted to focus on my makeup because those are my like my bad problems problem areas but then as i was putting this together tonight i've realized um some of my problem areas in beauty stuff, I don't even have represented here, which is sad, which is really sad, but um, we'll get into that. I'm going to start with face products, um, you know, any skincare type things that can be used on my face, and um, then we'll just go, you know, hair, body, and again, it's very limited. You'll see. All right, the first thing I have is these Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes. It is a 15 pack. I rolled this into um, the New Decade Project Pan because I had a 30 pack that I finished already and I'm like, I have a 15 pack, I'm just gonna roll it in even though it's not a rolling project. I just wanted to get it done. So that's why this one is in. Um, another face kind of thing is the Rock Daily Resurfacing Discs. It does have like soap and stuff in it, but it has like these textured discs. Um, one side is really textured, the other side is, it's soft. It almost feels like, um, like cloud <laughs> that you're rubbing on your face because it's usually pretty foamy from the soap that's in it. But, you know, I want it done and I want it out. Um, okay, I have the Equate Beauty Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. Yeah, it's just eye makeup remover. And once that one is gone, it is, I'm not going to buy anymore because I use the Campanelli fresh face towels where you just use water and you can get like the majority of your makeup off. So no need to buy chemicals or anything like that when I can just use something reusable, good for the earth and you yeah, know. All right, um, let's see. I have two different masks here. Um, the first one is by Masked Beauty. It is the Purifying Charcoal and Diamond Facial Mask. It is still kicking, but when we update this, um, we're going to do it every quarter. So I, that's what, every three months. Um, this one will not be in that. It better not be in that one. And this one I just put in a project. This is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. And this one is the Purifying Mattifying one. The green one, for those of you that um, have some of those. I don't know why they don't put that on here. If they did, I don't see it. A lot of other stuff, but not that. Um, I have one facial spray. This is the Baby Peach Refreshing and Hydrating Beauty Mist. I really like this. It smells good. And this one, I'm keeping the packaging when it's done. It's aluminum, highly recyclable, and um, it has the most fine mist on it. So I will be putting my... Um, why can I not think of the word? My setting sprays. Wow, this is my brain. Um, yeah, I'll put my setting sprays in this when that mist is done because the spray on that is superb. Um, tea tree oil. Can't live without it. I use this in my skincare, hair care. Well, I don't even need it in my hair care anymore since I went curly girl. Um, this is from Puritan's Pride. I got it online. This is not the best smelling tea tree oil, but it does really work. The Skin Daily Natural Skin Care Renew Eye Serum. I 
just got um, their niaminoside, if, I say, if I'm saying that properly, the niacinamide um, face serum that I can't wait to try. But yep, that's the eye serum. And I have two moisturizers here. The first one is the Life Essential Skin Care Night Cream. And this is the Intensive Repair. This is the one that I can only use on my neck because it is a little too heavy, as are most night creams for my facial skin. So um, I usually just use this like on my neck and decollete because, you know, you don't want that to show age as well. And I know this is kind of a weird thing, but it works for me. I will also put it on the backs of my hands before I sleep because I sleep like this and I would rather have this on the back of my hand than like a heavy lotion that's designed for your body. So little little tip there. If, if you're a person like me that sleeps with your face on your hands, if you tuck your hands under anywhere on your face, put a little um, like night cream on it and it's it's not going to clog your pores as much. Um, all right, and the last moisturizer is the Instant Natural Vitamin C Moisturizer. I, I can't even believe that this is actually working for me. It's not as heavy as some of the other ones, and I'm actually really enjoying that one. It's just huge. All right, body. Body, body, body. Um, not a ton. I have the Exuviance Age Reverse Hand Reju Rejuvenator Cream. Say that 10 times real fast. And this is the Hand Rejuvenator Peel. They work in conjunction with one another. You use the peel and um, put it on your hands and it gets like all that dry dead skin off. And then you follow it up with the Rejuvenator, Rejuvenator Cream. I can't say it. I can't say it. Um, and the only other body care I have is the Jessica Nails Now Cosmetics Hand and Body Moisturizing Emulsion. Say it with me, folks. Lotion. Don't get fancy. Don't get fancy. Um, and as you can see, it's down to here. That's not going to last very long. This, this is one of my problem categories, lotions, and it's not very well represented. And this is another problem category, um, any kind of like bath soaps, bath wash. I have the Neutrogena Rain Bath. Replenishing shower gel, replenishing shower and bath gel. Still got the plastic on it. I just brought this into Girls' Night, 10 Things I Hate About You. And I'm looking forward to using this. But again, this is a very, very problem category for me. I should have more than this in there. I should at the very least have a bubble bath in there or something that doubles as a bubble bath. What you gonna do? Um, I have a nail glue dryer. I actually used that tonight to dry my polish because, um, yeah, I wanted it to kind of sort of match my sweater. I know, I'm weird. And perfumes, more body stuff. Let me bring these over here. Most of these have minimal use, if any. Um, this is the Jessica McClintock, Jessica McClintock perfume. And that is a 3.4 ounce, as is the Calvin Klein Eternity. Eternity. Words, Jessica, words. Um, <laughs> pardon me. That has very minimal use, as you can see here. When I brought them into the projects, they were brand new. Um, this is the Wild Spirit Rosy Glow. It is, um, it's like a perfume rollerball that was made with essential oils. And I really like that one a whole lot. Um, and the only other perfume I'm working on right now is someone uh, put this in the comments. I can't remember who now. Um, this is Terry Mugler, I guess is how you pronounce it. This is Alien. This is in my top five perfumes. I love it. As are these. Those I have three of my top five perfumes in here. And I am very, very, very excited to be working on those this year especially after working on something that I wasn't super fond of last year. And the very last product that I have in is for my hair. I only have one hair product in, and this is a leave-in conditioning spray. It is Curly Girl approved. This is the Not Your Mother's Naturals Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon Spray, and it is to repair and protect. So, um, yeah, I, um, 
I use this every time I wash my hair. I do really like it a whole lot, but there's another one that I like just a little bit more by the same line or the same brand. And I think once this one is gone, I probably am just going to switch to the other one and use that one. But I am enjoying it. That is it. That is it. It's not a lot of stuff, which um, like with makeup, it was everywhere, like spread out everywhere. And this is just the little tiny pile over here. So I'm okay with it though. I'm totally okay with it. Um, I do have some other projects coming up, some seasonal projects. There is another project coming up in April that is going to be a year long project. Can't give information on it just yet. It's not up in the group, but it will be going up in the Fantastic Ladies group once we get all the like the fine details hammered out. So yeah, that is going to be a huge project and I'm looking forward to that. And um, that should, like when we do our quarterly updates for the makeup and beauty products, all of the products that are going into that upcoming project are going to be in that one, I believe. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on when we schedule it. We'll have to wait and see. It might be on that bubble. But um, definitely go check out Amanda. Check out Paula. They're going to be linked down below. I have no idea what they have in as far as their beauty stuff. I mean, obviously I've seen stuff in their videos, but I don't retain that stuff up here. I just, I don't have it in me to retain that kind of stuff with my day-to-day -day craziness. But um, yeah, go check them out. See what they are panning right now and um, go sh show them some love, cheer them on to um, pan that stuff. And I would love to know what beauty products you guys are panning right now because, you know, I'm nosy and I, I'm curious what, um, what you're panning. If you're panning any fragrances, put them down below. I am a fragrance addict, but having been on a no-buy, obviously I haven't purchased anything new. Um, I have gotten, you know, Christmas presents here or there, but... Um, yeah, I want to know if you're pinning any fragrances, anything, even if it's like a basic essential oil or something, put that down in the comments because I want to go smell it. I want to read about the notes of it. That is something I'm very passionate about is scent. And yeah, I want to know. Tell me, give me the goods. All right. I am going to wrap this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.